gosh, how could I be such an idiot? What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Budget Lawns. Look, I don't know what you think about or what you do when you mow. Perhaps you listen to music. Maybe you just like zone out. For me, oftentimes when I'm mowing, I come up with ideas for videos and that's what we're doing today. Okay, these are going to be some lawn tips that really aren't talked about very often at all, but they're just those simple tips that will make you lawn care like a boss. They're almost kind of like just silly tips in a way because they're kind of so bonehead. It's like, oh, why wasn't I doing that stuff already? It may even help you from making some mistakes and, you know, wasting your time or just making you feel like an idiot like I have made myself feel before in the lawn. Okay, let's get it straight though. It's These really aren't going to be embarrassing. I mean, no one else around you is going to notice these things, but us being the lawn care nuts that we are, we kind of get embarrassed even if uh, no one else even cares. So let's get into number one. This is something I like to do because if I'm out mowing and then all of a sudden I have to stop for this reason, it just drives me nuts. Fill up all your tanks on your equipment before you even start. Top off the lawnmower, top off the blower, top off the edger, the trimmer, whatever equipment you are going to be using, because nothing stinks more than being out there and all of a sudden here, and then the mower stops, the trimmer stops, you gotta stop what you're doing, get back to the garage and fill up. All right, top all that equipment off before you even begin. I do it every time I head out into the lawn. Number two, if you're gonna be spreading any product across your yard, one, always do it on the concrete. Do not do it in the grass. But at some point, if you're not paying attention, you are going to leave that hopper on your spreader open. And as soon as you pour that stuff in, down to the ground it goes, all right? Stop for a second, slow down, check your hopper, make sure that thing is closed. The last thing you want is a big pile of fertilizer in your lawn. It's gonna to be tough to get all that stuff up. If it's high in nitrogen, it's gonna burn you a nice spot there. Don't make that needless mistake, okay? That's number two, number three. You're gonna do it at some point if you get in this bad habit, okay? You are going to do it. You are going to cut one of your hoses with the lawnmower if you always leave those things out in the yard. Look, you don't have to have a fancy hose reel. You don't have to have one that automatically retracts it for you. You can have a cheap one. I use like these $6.99 hose hangout plastic hose hangers from Lowe's. Get the hoses out of the yard, put them up on a fence on the side of the bricks of the house, wherever you need to, to keep from running your lawnmower over it and cutting a big hole in it. That's gonna save you the headache of having to go out and buy another hose. I know it sounds like kind of a hassle to every time you use a hose to get it out of the way and roll it back up or hang it back up on a hangout like I do. But trust me, I've never run over a hose with a lawnmower and I never intend to get them up out of the yard. All right, here's one last one for you. And this one really came to mind because when I was mowing the other day, right now I'm mowing my front yard shorter than I am my backyard. And I did this at my old house and this happened to me not once, not twice, but a handful of times. I would mow the front yard shorter first and then I would move to the backyard, which was cut taller. And guess what I would forget to do? And it would just drive me nuts. I would forget to raise the height of cut on the lawnmower. I would leave the deck at the same setting where I was trying to mow it taller. And guess what would happen as soon as I would start that sucker up? Vroom! Big old crop circle right in the nice green grass scalped down to nothing. 
Oh, I'm telling you, that one will drive you the most crazy if you mow your yard at two different heights, front and back. Don't ever, I mean, don't ever forget to change the height of cut from lower to higher if that's what you're doing. Yeah, sure, it's gonna grow back. It always does, it always disappears in no time, but it still doesn't change the fact that just that one minute of not thinking, trying to rush sometimes and get things finished will cause you a couple weeks worth of having to watch the lawn recover from a silly mistake you made that you could have easily avoided. And that goes for all of these things. You can easily avoid these simple mistakes I don't even know if you'd call them mistakes, but just things that you don't have to deal with the lawn. If you just kind of slow down and get into the habit of doing these things, fill up all of your equipment before you get started so you don't run out in the middle of working out the yard. Number two, close your hopper on your spreader before you put any product in. Number three, get those hoses up. I'm telling you, you don't want to run over one, have to go out and buy a new one just because you were lazy and didn't get it up off the ground. And number four, be sure you change that height of cut when going from one side of the yard to the other that's mowed at a different height because if you don't raise it up, you're gonna leave you a nice big old scalp mark in that taller part of the lawn. I'm telling you, those might seem like four simple bonehead lawn tips, but I tell you what, if you're like me, you are going to forget to do one or all of them at some point the more time you spend out in the lawn and play this game of lawn care. All right, there you go, my friends. It's a little fun one that I thought about while I was mowing the other day and thought, you know what, if these are valuable, valuable to me, they likely will be to you as well. And you know here on Budget Lawns, I'm trying to give you those simple tips that will save you time and money to help you have a nice lawn, one, and number two, to really enjoy it a lot more. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you hadn't already, and we'll see you next time.